the name of Alamos Gashmos Mars. Uh, topic to which I am going to teach is inspiratory models, the lung walls and lung capacities. So, students, as you know, that uh, to detect lung function, we have to have some parameters. And those parameters are lung volume and the lung capacities. So, you see, there are different learning objectives. Uh, you should know that there are different volume and lung capacities. By adding these parameters, come to know about the function of so we will be studying different patterns okay? and uh, with the meters assess the function of lung so similarly is a disease of kidney or any of the kidney got some test that the renal test and for uh, you know for if you assess p of how it is working we have got a profile by the SS and we have got different parameters can assess how heart is born. So really uh, in the lung disease, we have these different lung volumes and capacities, how lungs hold the air, how much it requires in air normal parameters. Okay. Study the uh, four volume substance and four uh, capacities. And we will see the lung bombs, they overlap each other, they are divided in categories. And when we add the, we get uh, total lung capacity. So, uh, adding two, three parameters, we can uh, assess total capacity. Okay. So the basic volumes are the volume, the inspired volume, and the expired volume. So we will study volume category. You can understand the parameter of the function test. Okay. Uh, the, I don't know. The is not moving. See, okay. If you see the volumes, you can students. Uh, this picture shows you the lung capacity, and these are different parameters which you can. That this is called the rest volume. It is a pair which is after complete inspiration. The expiratory volume. This is the time volume and Inspiratory volume. Total lung capacity comprises of these volumes together, and this total capacity comprises these three uh, parameters. So, what is the volume? Total volume is volume of gas, tidal volume, volume of gas inspired or expired with E. That is the volume telling you about the amount of person. In give up during a not quite. This is the time, and it is an important parameter. This parameter normally five milliliter, and it keeps us, uh, degrees of diseases. Uh, uh, um, compliance is different according. Then the time is. Uh, Calculated with breath around 500 ml and only 20% reach alveoli. So, if you look at the picture, you can see that the time volume. And uh, to the inspired volume, previously taught you a tidal volume that it is the amount of as or 
connect with each. Okay. Now we are to um, inventory reserve. This is also a pattern to the thesis. Um, and um, normally the maximum amount of air that inhale after normal tidal volume inspiration. Okay. This is the inventory reserve. So uh, study this that reserve the amount of air can be inhaled after normal volume. So if you look at here, we can see the inventory reserve. Please see this box, blue box. It is showing that the inspiratory volume and its capacity is normally 300 milliliters. Then there is another parameter which is the XP reserve. It is the maximum amount of that can be exhaled from the expiratory. Study the tidal volume and we study the inspiratory reserve the expiratory reserve volume. And expiratory volume this is a parameter which determines the amount of exit expel from the expiratory expiratory okay so this is this. the air expired after the normal breathing is expired reserve so look at this this is showing expiratory reserve volume which is around 12 Great. Okay. Then coming residual volume. This is a very important uh, pattern also. And uh, it, it shows volume of remain in the lung after maximal expiration. So this residual this is the residual volume. This volume also you the amount air remaining that means the inspired fire amount uh, after the minimal experience this amount will put you volume of air being in the run the max this is the only volume cannot be measured as parameter this uh, uh, not uh, lung capacity because the volume less that is not to detect the center. Then come so we four lung volumes. Now we will be the basic lung capacities, the total capacity, the white capacity, functional capacity, and the capacity. All these uh, basic capacities also important because they tell the form of the uh, how working, how they are expiring, how they are expiring. The lung is very important for uh, because they are barrier of oxygen. It uh, it in the oxygen and that is absorbed by the heat molecule and then that uh, oxygen travels into our body and then it is the whole and the is expelled. Out. So if the lung uh, capacity Good, the extensibility of the the stability of the lines, everything is good. the lungs. These volumes and these will be in normal uh, levels. Otherwise, the meters will change. So, in capacities, we see amount it capable of taking in. So that lung capacity, vital capacity, functional rest capacity, and the in capacity but in the capacity we can see that the name denote it is amount of volume has been added by different volumes isn't it that is volume of a contained in the at of the mental inspiration so the total lung capacity is the volume of it is um, contained in our lung at the end of the maximum, and it's a sum 
of uh, basic lung volumes. Okay, is the respiratory, uh, the residual volume, the inspiratory uh, respiratory volume, vital volume, and the respiratory, respiratory. Okay, so it is a so if uh, add all together meters, we can uh, to know about that lung. It is functioning. So, student, the amount is around 600 ml. Uh, this is the reserve volume, volume, which reserve volume, the residual volume. So, if we put all these together, we get total capacity. And you know, these uh, meters have been which we have talked and we add together the total uh, lung capacity should be around 6 million. Uh, body uh, the, uh, these total lung capacities as we can calculate these lung volumes by meters uh, by C, uh, we can write about the capacity and of the lung. There are other things besides that. If we can uh, calculate lung capacity, then uh, the body with this mobility and healing. These are some methods all which are uh, advanced by other by this pattern also by vitology and that also calculate lung capacities and walls. In the plytograph, you can see that it is a chain in which a person is seated. And then is created and all pieces given to him. And then we then relate how the chest expired and the air went in lungs and expired. By this also, uh, then uh, calculate lung capacity. This is the, another method of the helium diving. Here we uh, uh, give terms of helium. And then we ask how much lungs capacity was, how much the lungs took the water, and then we can calculate the total lung capacity also. This is a, a board, uh, platysmograph method, uh, and the, uh, the principle which is used uh, to so the limbs and capacities was uh, okay. And the other method, as you is the helium dial method. And uh, this uh, helium dial method is uh, such that the spirometer, you can see the, this is helium, uh, the part is uh, allowed to breathe in, and then create a tidal volume, expiratory reserve, the inspiratory volume uh, by. In circuit. So another method called the heat method in which we can calculate. So unknown volume, you don't know, we can calculate this method. Then I have to have an important uh, called the white capacity. So this is the capacity and the capacity is the max volume of A that can forcefully build from the uh, maximum inspiration and it is this volume of air, okay and it is this volume of air uh, uh, which can be measured with this meter. the vital capacity comprises respiratory volume the volume the expiratory volume so this and if all even uh, at the lung capacity the volume is also with we can test the capacity. Okay, so the normal capacity, the pack for it is 48,000 milliliter. Okay. This is uh, capacity, and all these will get a milliliter. This is the normal uh, amount, and if uh, some disease, any restrictions or obstacles, these normal parameters are 
changed. Coming to functional capacity, this is also a very important parameter, and uh, this parameter will tell you about the functional capacity lungs. This is the volume of air any in the lungs at the end of the normal volume experiment. Okay. The they, they, the are made of elasticity, the alveoli, like yeah, they have all elastic uh, collagen and elastic. So they are full of distance uh, with inspiration and then they coil expiration. So these uh, elastic for uh, with the chest for, for by the muscle, they, they balance lung forces. It's a functional capacity. So the functional capacity can be the extra volume, the volume. Then come to inspiratory capacity. This is inspiratory capacity. This uh, inspiratory capacity is the max volume of air can be inspired from the end of expiration. Okay, as it is of less significance than the other. Inspiratory capacity is volume plus the inspiratory reserve. So we can get inspiratory capacity if we have got the tidal volume and the inspiratory reserve volume. So uh, by even knowing um, volumes and know about the capacities by adding them together. This is what I was uh, taught you that the lung volume capacities, these lung volume capacities are very important and these are important factors and, and uh, I'll bring you normal levels and uh, by adding these uh, levels by the meter can come to about the diseases because if they fall in these ranges then we always uh, to know the disease was uh, respiratory disease either due to obstruction or due to uh, restrictive disease and, uh, and we can also come to the capacity how much can inhale and exhale how much it has penetrated into a so are in fact uh, uh, very function which uh, provide you a uh, uh, thing that to calculate the functions of person lungs. Then this uh, slide in you a uh, force equity volume one. This is a very important parameter, and in fact volume of a will be expired in a second. Okay. Of force maximum duration. So, do you need action? We are calculating it. It is force ex volume within one second. And this will, as uh, by calculating, it, we can know the difference of which disease is whether it's an infected type of a disease, it is a restricted lung disease. So, V1 is not the 80% of the, the force capacity. So, by a force extra volume divided by vital capacity, we can calculate it. In obstructive diseases, in asthma, FEV1 is reduced than the C. Whereas obstructive disease is tangible, means that uh, lung disease in which there is an obstruction to the trachea in the pyrene uh, bronchial. But in restrictive diseases, due to fibrosis or tissue as defect, uh, then the FVM will be not, or it may be reduced. By calculating this uh, important force expert, one effect the uh, lung volume capacity, whether disease was expiratory or uh, whether the disease was due to obstructive diseases due to restrictive. Diseases. And by these volumes, also as about pulmonary test. So, students, 
queries, uh, please you can ask about this function. मैडम आप क्वेश्चन आए देख हाउ वी मेजर रेस वॉल्यूम डिजिटल वॉल्यूम पैरामीटर ऑफ आई टोल्ड वॉल्यूम इज नॉट डिटेक्टेड बाय सिकल अदर मेथड लाइक द हिस्टोग्राम एंड बाय द इलियन कैलकुलेट दैट सो Other question? Let's let you back. Okay. Right now. That is. Uh, we are going to conclude class now. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam.